we are having the LTI system with HF is equal to 1 minus mod of f upon 20 and EF is lesser than 20. So what does it means? Actually, if we are having a triangular function like this, this is 0, 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 and this is t and its amplitude is 1 and this is the xt and we are telling it as a triangular function. So its definition is when function is triangular function and its limit is like that 1 and width is 1, height is 1 and width is 1 then it is defined as 1 minus 2 mod of t for mod of t should be lesser than 1 by 2 and mod of t greater than 1 by 2 is that should be 0 ok now for this question it is given that mod of hf is just a triangular function but it is the scalar version 1 minus 1 minus 2 mod of t in place of 1 minus 2 mod of t it is 1 by 20 so to get 1 by 20 we should multiply this just what will be that there x of t we should replace this is 20 so when we multiply it with 40 that means x 40 of t that is triangle of 40 of t will be 1 minus 2 and that will be divided by 40 ok and its limit also divided by 40 so in this case t will be lesser than 20 ok so overall we can say that our xt x of 40 of t will be equals to 1 minus 1 minus mod of t upon 20 this is similar to this function and when we multiply 40 here then it will be this is a triangular function so we are dividing 40 here sorry that should be t by 40 that should be t by 40 that should be t by 40 so when we are uh, replacing this t by 40 then it become t by 20 when we are dividing t by 20 then its triangular form will become 0 and 40 divided by 40 will be multiplied this one that is a compression for, uh, expansion form and this is the 1 ok so finally you will get it is just 0 minus of 20 plus of 20 and this is t 1 and this is x t by 40 so this is the basic example so we can say that the diagram of this hf will be like that mod of hf is just a just compare this one with this minus 20 0 20 and limit is 1 uh, sorry this is frequency domain and it amplitude is 1 and this is hf right the diagram of hf will be like that triangular function but it limit will be from minus 20 to 20 and you can directly analysis from this one also but the diagram will be the triangular minus 20 to plus 20 second thing there is a xt so it is its Fourier transform xf will be 8 because we are just taking the Fourier transform Fourier transform of xt is just a xf and xf will be equal to what this is 8 and the Fourier transform of cos is here its frequency will be just compare it with the 2 pi ft so f will be 10 right here 20 f will be 40 ok so it become del f plus fm that is 10 plus del f minus of 10 divided by 2 plus 16 del f plus 20 plus del f minus 20 divided by 2 plus 24 del f plus 40 plus del f minus 40 divided by 2 and their spectrum will be when we draw the spectrum of xf then this is 0 and plus 10 minus of 10 
plus 20 and minus of 20 plus 40 and minus of 40. So first is del f plus 10 del f minus of 10. So del divided by 2 and 8 divided by 2 is just a 4. So at 10 at minus 10 amplitude will be 8 by 2 8 by 2 and at 20 16 by 2 and at minus 20 it is also 16 by 2 and at 40 it is 24 by 2 and it is 24 by 2 right because this is a LTI system and we have to find out the output of the uh, uh, average power of the output and here input to the system is given and this one so for the LTI system system removing the upper part because the system is the LTI system by the definition of LTI system this is ST this is HF this is XT and this one is the XF and this is the YT and its by here. So in time domain what is the basic definition yt is equals to xt ht convolution but in frequency domain it will be the product of the separate Fourier transform xf into hf. So to get the yf we should multiply hf and xf because this is the xf but our hf lies from minus 20 to plus 20 only. So only that much will be covered and its amplitude is 1 the curve will be something like that that means when we multiply both the function that means it is like minus, minus 20 and this one is plus 20 minus of 10 and this one is the plus of 10 and this is 8 divided by 2 is just a 4 and it is 4 and the triangle will be like that something because it is from minus 20 to 20 so the spectrum that is lies here it just a minus 10 to 10 only okay. only one spectrum will be there and we have to find out the area under the curve because we have to find out the average power ok so what does it mean that means we are having only one function here that is this is a Fourier transform of this so output will be the this part only that is output yt will be only one function this this is the spectrum of this particular part that is 4 cos of 20 pi t plus pi by 4 or just any cos function because it is just a cos function so it is just a 4 cos of 20 pi t plus pi by 4 then it is a power power of any power of a cos omega t is just a a square upon 2 so in this case power of y t is equals to just 4 square upon 2 that is 16 upon 2 it is just a a so the answer of the question is the average power of the output will be 8 watts.